PHP map, new PHP map old without the IT dumbass. Oh my god. So select the object and then we delete object. That's the beautiful thing about uh, C++, you always have to look after your memory so you don't have memory leaks and whatnot. So delete object, uh, that will be hbitmap. Delete DC, DC, which is our handle, I believe. Just a shot. Um, delete object. God, this is so boring. Leave it. H bitmap new. And I'm gonna take a quick break to make sure it's recording. Okay, so continue on. Uh, so we didn't delete. Uh, delete. What am I about? Delete. Uh, so delete object again. I'm going to go for old BMP. There you go. Beautiful. And our last one is delete DC, which is our handle. Um, HDC shot new. Okay. And that's it. That's all we need to get rid of um, for um, to make sure our memory is nice and looked after. So that's it. That is the excuse me, and that's the aimbot function complete. One thing I'd recommend you do though is something like uh, stdc out, it's gonna do here a little bit, uh, it's gonna go down. I, I think that was the longest one we have to write, but um, there's some close ones, but this that was pretty much the longest one now. So just bear with me guys, we're gonna get this done. Um, okay, so uh, out of scan, out of scan, took, so now this is if you're interested, right? If you're interested in knowing exactly how long it took to scan uh, the app, time taken, screen and scan, there you go. Um, and then we do, you can put milliseconds, okay, because that's the units that is used. So um, I'm going to comment mine out because I'm already worried about that. I've had enough of this. I've done a lot of checking and times and all that, and I have reduced the times to quite a nice uh, 40 to 50 milliseconds or whatever. Um, sometimes less um, so uh, that's pretty much it if you guys want to see don't see it yet because I don't think it will work as we are calling things that don't exist um, I was gonna say it's like why the hell would, would it have let me succeed in the build so what we then need to create is our take screenshot function so we created it up here uh, take screenshot where is that uh, there it is so because it's such a big ass function we're gonna copy all that because we're lazy I'm going to create it here, open and close, and I'm just going to get it from here. Okay, so uh, this one's a fairly straightforward and a fairly quick one, so we're just going to get it out of the way. So, rect rc, okay, and then we say get window rectangle hwnd, which is our parameter there. And, and this one's the same one as before, all we're doing is we're grabbing the windows rectangle to work with it. Okay, so HDC shot uh, equals create compatible, compatible DC. And this is doing exactly what the other one did, but for some reason they need to work together in order. So if I wanted to just take a, sc a screenshot of the whole screen, uh, sorry, I'm going to the wrong one. You see how this one's called here? I would remove this part if I just wanted a screenshot of the whole screen um, instead of just of the game. Now, if you take one of the screen, you're going to need a lot more memory. Uh, probably a couple more million pixels. Um, so you know how we did, uh, we got 480,000 for the other one earlier. For example, for my screen it would be 20 by 1080, I'm sure a lot of you guys got this size as well. It would be this many, so that's, I believe, uh, that's 2 million um, and a hell of a lot afterwards. So yeah, 2 million, 730, whatever, and all that. So it is quite a big ass number. So it's it's a time saver is what it is. So it's 480,000 versus 2 million. Okay, and upwards obviously. So that's that. So um, that's why you need to make sure we do it that way. And we just screenshot uh, what we need, not more than that. So um, we do that, create compatible DC. And what that does is it grabs our whole screen first thing, H bitmap, and the other one grabs from the whole screen just the part that we need. Uh, so h bitmap equals create compatible bitmap compatible bitmap 
get these CM once again I took some of this code off uh, MSDN website which was quite useful get DC again RC dot right minus RC dot left which gives us our width um, our next part is RC dot bottom minus RC dot top you probably guessed that and we close that there that's our bitmap right there and we select that object we need to make sure we do that and we say uh, HDC shot here okay and H bitmap I'm happy with that yep and then we do a bit a bit BLT again which is what I'm going to copy here I'm just going to copy our old one and then modify it because I am lazy like that and we don't have that much time uh, to work with it to be honest so you guys feel free to do the same we've written this code once we don't have to write it a billion times um, in order to save some time so let me just move this back uh, there you go bit BLT and we're going to have to modify something so HDC shot here shot just that uh, and then we do um, because we declared them a little bit different, that should be it. Uh, there you go, there you go, and there you go. So we found our width and height. Now, one thing that changes here, which is incredibly important. Now, this means the source here. This part, I had a lot of trouble with this when I was trying to just screenshot the app. Now, what this means here, these two variables are saying, where do you want to start your screenshot from? And we're saying from the left, which, for example, if this was the target window, the left would be here, obviously, this whole side, and from the top, which is here, okay? Which, what this means is uh, start a screenshot from here, and then take the screenshot, the width, and the height of it, so which means it only grabs our, our game and nothing else. So that's our beat BLT done. Uh, and then we say if, we just need to do some clearing up stuff. And this was also from uh, MSDN that I got, which seems to be essential. So uh, just keep going with this. Um, even if you don't understand it, because I don't understand some of this part, uh, nor did I try to, because I, I don't know. I didn't find it that interesting. The size of bitmap. So remember, this is still part of our screenshot, and then we go LPSTR, LPSTR, and BM. So that's that there. That seems fine to me. And then we just say if that happens, return false. So if it has problems getting our object, then return false. Now the next part we say int bits per pixel equals BM dot DM bits per pixel. That function's already there for us nicely. So then we say if if bits per pixel uh, is not equal to 32 or bm dot bm planes is not equal to 1 uh, we return false. So make sure I wrote that right. Uh, so bits per pixel is not equal to, my, uh, to 31 or yeah that seems fine. And then we say setup bitmap info. Now this is something we declared at the top but we haven't created yet. So bmi bm.bm width and we declare bm.bm height which I'm fine with. I really hope I don't need up through all my uh, 500 gigs. I need to buy a new hard drive soon. So videos start getting longer and I'm screwed. Um, return true. Fram seems to like having about a billion gigs of bloody hard disk space to work with. So return true. Now we set up our bitmap info. Now what we're going to do is going to create our setup bitmap, bitmap info. Okay, so just like we did earlier, we're going to copy this here. So if we go here, search for this at the top and just copy that whole thing there. Copy into here. Just feel free to put it below. We don't really care about it. So we're going to put this here. This is going to, it's going to be a fairly straightforward and quick function to write. So BMI dot What's wrong with that? What's the matter, Mr. Oops, <laughs> that was a mistake putting this inside a function. Fail. So that's it there. So bitmap info, just take it back a little bit. Uh, hopefully that should be alright. So BMI dot BMI header size uh, dot BI size um, BI size equals size of bitmap bitmap info header that seems right to me and then we say uh, so I recommend you copy this copy and paste this uh, a couple of times because we're going to use this a lot did that like an idiot there but uh, we have a few things to do with this dot uh, bi width 
equals b width. Okay, so dot uh, bi height equals b height, which is fine also. And then we say uh, bi planes. Why don't they just call it planes instead of having to do the bi part? That's so stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. Dot, um, I'm sure they've got a good reason for it. I'm just being a crybaby. Uh, bi bit count equals bits per per pixel and dot uh, bi compression equals bi all in capitals rgb um, dot bi uh, size uh, image okay so bi size image that seems fine to me so Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just counting the row so I didn't miss anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. So be with behind to another one. Yep, I'm happy with that. So that's that done. So we've got a setup bitmap info, which is called there, which is fine. Uh, select object, create compatible bitmap, and that's us take screenshot complete. Now what I what we need here, I believe we should have another error, which is something we missed out on doing. Uh this can another struct. Uh, that tells me Oh, scan BMP, yeah, that tells me that scan BMP hasn't been done. Now, that's also a bit of a big function, but uh, we should be able to do that nicely. So, scan BMP. Yeah, so, is this a big function? Yeah, this is, no, no, actually, it's not big at all. I have a lot of comments on my actual examples, so that's why it looks a bit big. So, she said. Uh, so, void scan BMP, let's move down a little bit. Go down here, get some space for it. And well, let's do this. So, um, first thing we want to do here, I believe, is something I made a mistake on on the actual tutorial. Uh, that I wanted to kind of, I can wanted to kind of go over the basics and then do an improvement on. But I think I'm going to write the improvement straight away because I've uh, I've already gone way into the video and there's a lot of time. So I'm going to explain the improvement straight away to you as we do it. So just bear with me on this. So for int why? So we're going to copy this and I'll explain exactly what we're doing. This may seem complex at first, but it's not. Trust me, you'll understand it straight away. RC window dot bottom. So we're accessing our variables from there. Minus scan uh, dash, which is for our pointer. RC window dot top divided by four. Okay, so that's that there. And then we just start a y equals. So it's just a normal for loop, nothing special. Scan. What the hell, man? When that work? What the fuck? That should have worked fine. Why is? Oh, for God's sake! I'm such an idiot. Why it's less than a scan? It's like you have one small error. The damn thingy stops working straight away until it sends. It's useless. Scan. Maybe I'm useless. So window at the top. Minus scan. I'll try and remember exactly what logic uh, logic I put in when I was doing this. I should be able to remember it nicely. Hopefully, the bottom uh, minus scan dash rc window dot top. Should just copy and paste it up. There you go. Divided by three point five. Now I'm going to explain this part quickly. Just need to do the i y plus. So the point of this. So that's not necessary, then we open our brackets. Okay, so for and y, let's make sure this is right. This is going to divide it by 4. Why did I put a 2 there? That should be a 4. Uh, y is less than. So I close that there. What are you expecting? Expected a. Divided by 3.5. Close that there, which means I forgot to open one here, which is fine. Okay, so the way this works is, guys. So I'm going to show the screen. Let's let's think of this as a normal game window, okay? So hopefully that will make sense to you. Um, think of this as a game window, and what we would do by default is go scan this, scan this, scan this, scan this. So you see, like this example, I guess we'd say. So think of this as a whole window. We'd say scan this, scan this, scan this, scan every single line. Now the problem with that is we're spending a lot of time scanning. 
wasting resources and let's say for example someone is in your top right corner so almost out of your screen it'll lame at them now that may seem like a good idea at first but it's not now the reason for that is because it will take you way too far from your coordinates and